Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So, CMU 1.14.0 is now available for download for all of CMU's Patreon supporters. In this video, I'm going to be covering absolutely everything you need to know about this new CMU experimental build. Okay, so jumping straight into it, let's take a look at some comments which have been given to us by the developers of CMU itself. This is the preview release build that includes the new texture cache rework. It is otherwise identical to 1.13.0, only get this release if you are willing to put up with heavy graphical bugs, lots of your games that previously worked crashing, and tons of other game related bugs. If you are not willing to put up with any of these issues, you should simply download and use CMU version 1.13.0 instead. Basically, 1.14.0 is going to be a series of experimental CMU versions that are going to be released over the coming month or so. These builds are going to give us the possibility to follow CMU's development more closely with all of the upsides and downsides that that may bring. At some point in the future, when they consider 1.14.0 to be stable enough, there will be an official release with a detailed changelog for that build version. Okay, so now that all the doom and gloom is out of the way, let's take a look at some of the known improvements we have already seen in this experimental CMU build. We have seen fixes to performance problems due to broken point rendering. The most notable games affected by this are Mario Kart 8 on Toad's Turnpike and Super Bell Highway and Fatal Frame 5. They have fixed the offset shadows in games like Puckin Tournament, Hyrule Warriors and many other Unity based games. Block artifacting which is an issue on newer Nvidia GPUs are completely gone. Games affected by this include Breath of the Wild and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Some games are now showing graphics rather than just rendering a black screen. We have been given Batman Arkham Origins and Ninja Gaiden 3 as examples. Mario Kart 8's shadows are now correctly working on AMD hardware. The purple texture glitch which has been plaguing Xenoblade Chronicles X for the past few months now seems to be fixed, or at least the chance of it happening is a lot lower. Along with these major fixes, we have also been given a list of smaller improvements such as visible projectiles in Tachyon Project, fixed face shadows in Mass Effect 3, fixed character lighting in Assassin's Creed titles, and no more black flicker in Super Mario 3D World Level 1.5. Now that we've discussed some of the major and minor fixes that we're seeing in 1.14.0, let's take a look at some known issues. The first thing we have been told is that some games have partially or entirely broken graphics. Splatoon's ink mechanic is currently broken, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark doesn't display graphics anymore and Breath of the Wild currently has flickering issues. Some games are partially broken on AMD GPUs, this does unfortunately include Breath of the Wild. Most games are currently broken on Intel integrated GPUs. Some older bugs have also returned in this build mostly due to the fact that the new texture system doesn't have a solution for them yet. One such bug includes the famous Breath of the Wild teleportation outline glitch. This current build which we have access to at time of making this video has some of the internal optimizations turned off. This may or may not result in slightly worse FPS overall. So honestly, that's pretty much all we need to cover in relation to these new changes and exactly what you can expect from CMU 1.14.0. If you want to continue using CMU Emulator in its very functional form that you were used to, you should definitely consider using version 1.13.0. Alternatively, if you want to preview some of these texture cache changes, debug whether any of your games are currently working on this new system, or help with compatibility over on the CMU official Discord, then you should definitely consider trying out build number 1.14.0. If you want me to test out any specific games in CMU 1.14.0 in a similar fashion to what I do with my CMU build announcement videos, you can leave your game down in the comments section of this video and then in the coming days I will go through all of those comments and select the most requested games for testing. So the last thing I want to cover in this video is in relation to a public release date for CMU 1.14.0. Since we have never really had work in progress or experimental builds in CMU Emulator before, its developers are not yet sure whether they are going to make them available to the public. When I asked them over on their Discord server, they basically said that while they might release them to the public, they have still not 100% made the decision whether they are going to do so. So let me know down in the comments section whether you would like to see these experimental work in progress builds released to everyone in the CMU community for compatibility and bug testing. 
In the coming days, I am going to be doing several videos where I am going to showcase all of the new and improved features with these new CMU releases, so keep an eye on the channel for those. So as always guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.